Hello friends, let's create an application to demonstrate crystal report in ASP.NET. Now, first of all, what are crystal reports? Crystal report is a business intelligence application currently marketed to a small businesses by SAP SE. It is used to design and generate reports for a wide range of databases. Some of the web benefits of Crystal Reports are they are flexible and customized, they can have a data source connectivity, they have some export options for the in the format of Excel or PDF, and they have Windows operating system compatibility. So for this present application, I am using Visual Studio 2013 in which separate configurations are required for Crystal Reports. If you are using Visual Studio 2000 test, just install the SAP Crystal Report for 2010 and, addition, and add it uh, in a toolbox. Add it in a toolbox, with, which will you now import various components related to the Crystal Report. So let's execute the application or let's design the application first and let me execute the same application. So just add, I've already created a project so I'm just adding a new item. Let's add an item Windows form. I'm just giving its name. Uh, let's say issue book details. Now, it's prerequisite for this applications are like we need to have a separate database. For this, I've just selected the database of a library system where I've taken three tables, book master, issue master and the student master. And all these ta three tables are linked with each other. So we've already done, create, done that part of creation, creating the table and the relationship in that, with that tables. So here I need to select a crystal report viewer. So this component is available in the reporting tab. Now we need to add a report, separate report. So just click add new item. We have a reporting section there we can have crystal reports. So I'm just giving the report name issue book report dot rpt so rpt is the extension of crystal report now by default i'm just selecting as a blank report i'm not using any wizard application so you'll see here a dot rpt extension report crystal report gets added over here and it has five sections available one is the report header second is the page header there is a detail section and the report footer and the page footer. So every section has their own roles and responsibilities. So here at the initial phase, I'm just connecting to the database for this report. So just add it, right click add it, uh, data expert and uh, just create a new connection over here. Select the OLADB. You can have OLADB for SQL Server. Just click next. Give the server name as dot slash SQL Express is your server name and as you haven't given any username password for your database, so select integrated security. Just click this drop down, you'll find your database. Let's select this database and finish it. You'll see here this MIT library get added, it has the different database objects like tables, procedures and so on. So I'm just selecting the tables of book master, issue master and student master. Click OK. So you'll find these tables are actually linked with each other with their keys. Just click OK. Now I want to display the record of issue books. So I'll display the list of student also. So this student is actually 
just select it from let's say student id has issued these books on so and so date now let's display the student name also so i'm just displaying the name of student in this table so as we have this relationship available we can take any of the columns which are actually connected with each other now if you want you can just format all this selecting all format multiple objects font you can provide so, just remove the underlines okay so this is the detail section over here so this is the report also you can provide the header so let's give the header inside text box let's give the name for issue book details okay format it again by format object font you can give let's give the different color if you want give the size let's say 14 so you have you can design the crystal report also according to your convenience what are the headers that you want to provide even you can provide the logos images so just i'll give this header as a bold save this so this is my designing part is over now just come back again to your page where you have a crystal report viewer so if you see the designing part here i need to connect this crystal report viewer with the crystal report source so we have a new report source and i have a issue book report so i'm just specifying the crystal report name yeah click ok and i don't want this group tree so just click next this unchecked it and save this now this is available let's execute and let's see that whether this report is coming or not So here we have all the details of students, those have issued the books on some of the dates. Okay, now there is one more option we can provide over here. Uh, here, if I want to see a specific student, so I can also write, I can also design here a text box I'll take one text box for search I'm just taking one text box and I'll take one button for searching just keep the name as search and just keep the name as TL search and text box name let's say txt student id now just see the designing part you'll find one text box and one search button now i want to search a specific student so i need to write a code for that now here you need to input use the two main spaces crystal decision crystal dot share using crystal decision dot crystal report dot engine these two namespaces we need to import compulsory 
then we need to have one variable called as report document yes mvj equals to new report document now as we have to show on a click so just write the code on a detail search just write uh, exception ending block now here we need to load that report so m obj dot load so on the server wherever that report will be available it will be get loaded by using server dot map path just provide the name of that report so issue book report dot rpt so this report will be get loaded then we need to specify this specific formula so m o v j dot record selection formula m o v j dot record selection formula equals to provide this basis and here we need to specify the specific things so student master this is the data uh, table name from the database and dot student id this is the name it is the column name of that particular student uh, student master table equals to plus txt student id dot text so just passing the parameters but as the student id id is a string so i need to take in a single quote so i'm just connecting a single quote for this particular text box value now this is the record selection formula next thing is just attach it with the crystal report viewer dot report source equals to m obj and just refresh that report If you want, you can write the exception part also. Now let's test this application in browser. Now I want to search a student with the ID S101. So let's check it whether this application will work or not. So at the initial level all the students will get displayed but when I'll type S101 and I'll search it so it will display only S101 if I'm searching S102 it will display only S102 details oh sorry uh, okay it was not there S102 let's search it so yes so you'll find this s102 details so this is all about the crystal report